Jasper. <laughs> yes. What do you know about your your cousin Alex? Well, I know he ain't in Tupelo, Mississippi anymore. <laughs> did, 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 did he get? How did he get out? Uh, what was law that, enforcement? That aliens took him. You know, and I'm not talking about the ones south of the border. I'm talking about those other ones. You know, the tall, skinny, blue ones. You know, they kind of look like a blue tuna. <laughs> Except without the tuna. <laughs> do, the, do, the, do those do those aliens really exist? I, I think that's just a fairy tale that the left wing media has been pushing on us for years. Well, you know, it's, it's true that anything's possible. But the more you drink, the more aliens you'll see. <laughs> I have a feeling, Jasper, <laughs> that this is going straight up to YouTube this evening. <laughs> <laughs> you want to drink to that? Uh, here you go. Here's to Earth. <laughs> Here's to all of us on the front lines, the back lines, and who don't even know we're in line. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I photograph much better in the dark, you know. I photograph much better in the dark. <laughs> All right. You got the giggles? Uh, well, here, I, I got a couple questions for, for Mr. Collier here. Okay, we're being serious now? We are. Okay. So, Alex, you know, it, it dawned on me that uh, 14 years ago, it's 14 years ago, Easter weekend, 1995, that we last got together and did an interview of any kind. So, well, there's I had a no idea it was this, the same weekend. Yeah, Easter weekend. Wow. 14 years later. <laughs> An interesting coincidence. Yeah, it is. Well, it's a pleasure. Sorry it took 14 years to do it again. <laughs> uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we're getting the chance today. Hey, uh, so, you know, in the last few years, there's been an awful lot going on in the United States, and I think a lot of people have changed their view of what the United States is really all about. I, th I think they've come to realize that some of the things that we've been doing, that we've allowed our government officials to do, haven't really been in our best interests. Well, tell, tell me about your perception about the direction the United States is headed. Well, you know, the country is always a reflection of its people. And it is my opinion that, yes, we have a governmental bureaucracy that claims to love America, but clearly by its actions and the laws and the way it's beginning to attack the citizenry, it hates Americans. Um, but really, who's to blame for that? I mean, it's very easy to blame the government, but the government essentially is just our, our voted uh, representatives. I mean, there is a bureaucracy around that government um, that manages and does the day-to-day -day grunt work. But essentially, you know, it's, it's the Congress and the Senate and uh, the executive branch, who we vote for, who we've put into office. Now, I've said this, what, back in the early 90s, 92, 93, 94, I was saying a lot of this was coming. And, and, you know, really, who do we have to blame? And, and quite frankly, Rick, we have ourselves to blame. It's the citizens' fault. We abdicated management of the government to a group of politicians uh, who were allowed to take uh, campaign contributions from private industry, from corporations, from the military-industrial complex uh, to do their bidding. Um, we got on with our lives. I guess mistakenly trusting that our representatives when they took the oath of office actually meant it. Obviously they didn't. Because now what we have is a horrible situation. We have a government that isn't in any way, shape, or form a representative of the Constitution or even the Bill of Rights. In fact, those two documents barely exist at all. Um, the government isn't acting like they exist and they're going to continue to do what they want to do or what their bidding is, um, what they're being told to do. 
So let me put it to you that way, what they're being told to do. So, you know, it's, it's the people. We, we screwed up. We didn't manage the government. We didn't pay attention to what they were doing. As long as, as long as there was food on the shelves, as long as gas was cheap, as long as everybody was working, nobody cared. Ah, but guess what? Reality's hit home now. Uh, now we have a government spending our dollar into uh, absolute oblivion. Um, <laughs> we also have um, <coughs> uh, the devaluation of the dollar. You know, the chickens are coming home to roost, and now everybody's beginning to wake up and saying, oh my God, what the hell have these guys been doing? And, uh, you know, now we know. You know, it's, it's out there, and it's at a point where they're not even bothering to hide it anymore. So, you know, what the question really comes down to is, is this. Um, America is changing dramatically, and it's changing very, very fast. And it really comes down to a very simple premise, in my perspective. Do you want freedom and liberty, or do you want socialism? Now, there are some dramatic differences between the two. One requires self-responsibility and self-government. The other is you become a natural resource of the state, and they will tell you what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And if for any reason, at any time, they decide they no longer need you, as Henry Kissinger so aptly put it, then we've all become useless eaters. So this is where it's at. Um, there is no really middle road as I see it. Uh, I think everybody waiting for one man to do something, uh, for example, President Obama, to, to change the company, to change the, the government, to change the world, is ridiculous. He is just one guy, and you know the governments of the world are not run um, by offices. They're run by corporations. They're run by corporations, and those corporations are run by a program, and that program uh, essentially has control of everything. It controls the money, it controls the technology, it controls the governments, it controls the media, um, and some of the personages within that program are not us. They're extraterrestrial. And I know many people will say, oh, that can't be, it never happened. Well, it, it doesn't matter at this point what they think. What is, is what is. And uh, that's where we are, and now it's all coming to the forefront. And uh, the next couple of years are going to be just the most interesting um, and the most full of growth opportunities for people, um, dark night of the souls for many people, and an opportunity to not only change the way we live, but also the way to change our perspectives on how we want to live and you know, really think about what really is important. You know, is it the money? Is it the dollar? Is it the big car? Is it the million dollar home? It isn't any of that. It's our family and it's our friends. We don't need all this crap. We just don't. Um, you know, what's important is who we are. Where are we going with ourselves? Uh, have, have, has, have, have, have people looked inside themselves and said, you know, I do all this work. I support 